Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video for the Color Computer 2. And, um, so, um, first before I start this, talking about this program here, um, I want to thank my audience because I have surpassed 1,000 views, um, since I started this channel, which was several months ago, not quite a year yet, but I just want to thank you guys for um, watching my videos and keeping me um, on my toes. And uh, this gives me something to do as an extra outlet. Um, these days, there's not a lot going on. Um, you know out there and um, this computer programming has been a, a good outlet for me and without an audience it just wouldn't have been the same so I want to thank you guys and I hope you all continue to keep watching and so I was working on the ghost man game for a while and I had to stop that because um, um, I wanted to pick up on Tales of Suburbia, which is the um, role-playing game that I'm working on. So I had to, I had to um, do do some things with that because that that's really complicated. And you know, I if I let it go for too long, then I'll forget what I how you know where I was where I was in the program, and then you have to remember, you know. And, but anyway, so, you know, that's what I was doing for a while. And then, uh, now I wanted to, um, I don't know how many of you remember, but I was inquiring about something called the Mexican Hat Dance Program for the Color Computer 2, which I remember as a kid that this was, um, something that I couldn't find anywhere. And, but I remember, I know as a kid that I typed this program in, and I remember the animation at the end of the hat going up and down and everything. And I, I finally found it, and it's actually um, sample program number three in Getting Stirred with Extended Color Basic. And you will not find it unless you look in the index. It's not listed in the... The color coded pages, you know how you had that intersection in that book of color coded pages, and it showed some of the better programs that were in that book in color, you know, pic pictures or whatever. Um, this is in that section, but it wasn't listed um, in the pictures. So there's a, quite a few of them that are not listed, and I recommend going in the back of that book. And pulling up some of these old programs, there's a ton in there. And um, to make a long story short, um, I programmed this in today. And if I renumber it right now in increments of one and list it, it's a total of 67 lines. So I did this today, but I had to do I had to sit down three different times. That's how long it took. I mean. The excruciating part is the, the music, because most of this program is music. And it was just slews of musical code. I mean, look at this. It's dense. Look how dense that is. I mean, I mean if you're going to do this, I recommend, you know, trying it out. But I can also tell you something. That this book, Color Computer, Getting Started with Extended Color Basic for the Color Computer 2 is just, it's just filled with mistakes. Just misprints um, galore and programming mistakes, um, things that don't make any sense. And I've, I've encountered that throughout the entire book and now in the program section. It continued right into the programming section. 
I found about 10 mistakes in this program. There were lines that were backwards. There were quotation marks missing. Um, just all sorts of things like it, it was just a mess. So what I'm going to do is not today, but I'm going to post this video and then I'm going to include a correct form of this program in the in the um in the description so that if you want to type this in for yourself you can type it in and you'll know that it will work correctly and I also space the musical data um, with semicolons which makes it a lot easier to see because uh, the way they had it oh my god you needed like a you, you need a magnifying glass to figure out where one part ends and the other part begins so it was a real nightmare but um the end result is very cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this program and let you watch it and then uh i'm just going to cut the video off and you guys can make your comments if you want to or whatever and i'll see you on the next video um i'm not sure when that will be but it'll be soon and it'll probably be the pac-man thing or my other game that i was working on that I mentioned. So that's it for now, guys. Take care, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I do.